Good evening and welcome to our 2023 Marion High School Band Spring Concert. I am Paul Marimont, Marion High School Band Director, and it is my pleasure to be with you all this evening. At this time, we ask that you please silence, silence all cell phones and electronic devices. You may record the performance for your family's enjoyment or watch on BlueDevilNews.com. 
However, due to copyright restrictions on the music, we ask that you do not post the performance on the social medias. Uh, we also ask that you refrain from eating or drinking in the Marietta Performing Arts Center. Please do not move from your seat while music is happening on stage. Instead, wait until the group finishes to enter or exit the auditorium. This is our final concert of the 2022-2023 school year. It's uh, a special night to celebrate the growth that has happened during the year, the commitment of our seniors, and to uh, celebrate the reestablishment of our jazz band. It is going to be an exciting uh, evening full of fun music and awards kicking off the program. Tonight is the Merritt High School Jazz Band under the direction of Dr. Harry Price and Mr. Eric Herndon. They will play Just Manning Devil by Mike Story, Satin Doll by Sammy Nestiso, All Blues uh, as arranged by Michael Sweeney and by My uh, Miles Davis, and Act Your Age as arranged by Peter Blair it's by Gordon uh, Goodwin. So uh, let's give it up for our jazz band uh, and uh, as we get started tonight. Woo!
That was Lucas Price on live, and of course, Mr. Henderson, our orchestra director. So, I, I want to take a moment to recognize, I know it's already been mentioned, but we're pretty lucky because he decided to come and help with the jazz band on his own. Nobody twisted his arm, and he's been unbelievably helpful. We've been in a lot of trouble without him. So, I want to thank you for helping us this time.
need to recognize a lot of people, obviously. You've got Benjamin Gitanga on trumpet, solo. <laughs> Tuba, we had Kathleen Spagnol. <laughs> Jared, as he's over here, solo. <laughs> Ishmael Ironton. <laughs> and we ended with Stan. Again, I want to recognize him. He's a graduate of this school. He decided to come back and help out, which has been great. He just played a great recital a couple days ago as well. Um, but we are lucky. We're all lucky. He really has helped the sax section just come and help when he could. So, again, thank you for helping us out. And so you know, um, this group is pretty interesting because we have one senior, one junior, and everybody else is ninth and tenth graders. So. I want you to understand that. And also, I'd like to thank Mr. Marimon. I know he's here somewhere close. Anyway, for having created this group. Um, they haven't had one for a while, and it, it's wonderful that he decided to set up this experience. And um, my view is I can't wait till next year because they've come a very long way. And I'm looking forward to it personally. Last tune, Act Your Age. Just at the same time, uh, so you know, the soloist <laughs> will be uh, Ewan, and uh, our orchestra director is going to play again for us, and then Jalen, and we went with Tom. So a lot of people will bring their own.
Thank you, Dr. Price and the Marietta High School Jazz Band. We are so happy to have you back. Congrats on a wonderful concert, and we can't wait to see all the fantastic things you do in the future. Thank you. Please bear with us as we change the stage for the next performance. Thank you guys so much. Once more, uh, I want to make, make sure everybody knows that we are live streaming this on bluedevilnews.com. Um, and so this next portion, uh, throughout the night, we'll be thanking people and uh, doing awards for people, for uh, students, uh, all the work that they've done. Um, board members, just so you guys know, get ready to come up stage. Um, there are several parents that have gone above and beyond this year. Um, and have served on our board as uh, volunteers for the Marietta Band Association. We would like to thank all of you for the time and effort you put into the band program. So if you were a part of the, this year's past board, can you please stand? <laughs> if you're part of our board members this past year, thank you, please stand. <laughs> thank you. Now, uh, we have uh, voted and we have a new set of board members. Um, and I would like to give them a little token of thanks for the work they have already be, uh, begun and we'll do this next year, which is a lot. Um, please come on stage if you guys can um, and receive your um, little token and it's actually going to be pretty cool. We get these little magnet uh, name tags that we can have wherever we go, which is awesome. Um, so Lisa Eason uh, and Bill Moss are co-presidents. If you are a part of our board, if you guys can start making your way up. Heather Pacine is our volunteer coordinator. Janie Nix is our treasurer. Bianca Taller is our operations officer. Vilma Thomas is our guard representative and logistics. Kathy McCarter is our secretary and Jason Taller is our ways and means. Uh, can, once they get up here, can we give them a really, really big thanks because their work is so much more than you guys can imagine. Thank you guys so much. I need you to be louder than that. Woo!
I want to say one more thing about parent volunteers. Um, it's incredibly important for parents to be involved, not just in your students' lives, but also in our band program. Uh, you get to see everything that we do, and we do a lot, and they spend a lot of time with us. Um, and so in order for our program to run smoothly, we really need you. Um, you actually have two more opportunities to volunteer this year, uh, parents. Um, there's one more Trails and Thrills, which is a music festival that we host coming up this Saturday. Um, QR codes are, are, the links are on the band app. And then um, at graduation, May 26th, we actually will be selling the concession stands. Um, and that is a light fundraiser for us, but it's really cool to kind of see the tradition and all the great things that happen at our graduation. Um, please stay connected uh, so you can find other ways to help throughout the year, next year. Uh, communication, I believe, is key to any organization uh, to run smoothly. It's incredibly important for all families to have the band app. Um, if you are not part of our band app, um, please email me and I will send you the link. We need everybody on the band app. We send out newsletters, important reminders, and then if we need to get in touch with you quickly, that is our easiest way to get there. Um, all right, so uh, our concert band's off stage. We're gonna let them warm up. They haven't played a couple uh, uh, for a little while, so we're gonna let them warm up for a little bit and then we'll continue, thank you. stage now is the Marietta High School Concert Band. Their first selection is Russian Sailor's Dance, arranged by Mark Williams, followed by a piece called By Dawn's Early Light from the composer David Schaffer. Please welcome to the stage Mr. Paul Merriman and the Marietta Concert Band.
Thank you guys. Our symphonic band is going to join us. We're happy. Just give us one second while they're walking in. Thank you. As we're coming on stage, uh, I just wanted to say that an important aspect of our school of bands is to generate a sense of community uh, between its members, the parents, and the community at large. Um, it's always a wonderful thing when uh, we get to share music together. And I tell the students all the time, not everybody gets the chance to do that and the privilege to make music. Um, and so the next performance will be shared between our concert band and our symphonic band. Both classes have worked on this individually in class, but believe it or not, uh, today was the first time they played it together, actually about an hour and a half ago. Um, so performance like this speak to the musicianship uh, that we've been working on uh, of the students and really the, the hard work that goes into this. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, as we welcome to the stage Ms. Kaylin Putnam and the Marietta Concert and Symphonic Bands, wrapping up the first set with Pharrell's hit, Happy. Give it up one more time for our combined band. Okay, we're gonna do another set change. Concert band, if you guys can get uh, started, please. Thank you, concert band. As we do this, we're trying to minimize time. I know it can be a long night, so I'm gonna talk about a couple things um, and make sure that we are all together in this. Uh, again, thank you so much for your support. Um, our next ensemble is actually going to be just a symphonic band. Go. You guys can start going to concert band. Concert band, go. Concert band, thank you. It's okay. Sometimes I have to say things a couple times. I'm sure parents know. Believe it or not, we actually rehearsed this earlier. So a couple things that I wanted to um, announce 
as we reset. And then Symphonic Band will move to their chairs after Consecrate's gone. Uh, I must say, a big part of this is a privilege that I get to teach these students um, every single day. Um, and it's, it really is a privilege. Uh, I want to make sure that every parent here is aware that you, your child should be signed up for band in next year. Uh, double check with your student schedule. I know that there's timelines that have already passed, uh, but if you uh, would like your child to remain in band or if just double checking that they already are um, next year, please let me know if it's they are not. If they are not already in the schedule, um, whenever the schedules come out close to the beginning of the school year, um, don't hesitate to email me um, and Mr. Jason Mead. Some important uh, marching dates coming up for our marching band, that's our next thing. Uh, we do a start in July. Color Guard and Percussion start July 10th. Uh, the Leadership comes in July 11th, and then mini camp is July 13th, 14th. Then full camp, that's the week that we go 12 hours um, a day. And then it's July 17th to the 21st. And I promise you, you don't want your child anywhere but here. It is a fantastic time. We work really hard, we get better, and it's, it's really one of the best things that your children can do. Um, uh, with that being said, there are other summer camps going on for music. If your student is really enjoying music and would like to continue doing some music things uh, throughout the summer, we have private lessons. Um, we have other opportunities for camp, for guard, um, for wins, for uh, leadership. And um, if you need any help finding those, please let me know. I'm more than happy to help you find those. So, um, we're actually going to have, before we get playing, we're going to have Ms. Jenny, if we can welcome Ms. Ms. Jenny on to the stage. She uh, was our uh, guard director in uh, the last two years, and we're so glad that she was with us. Um, she actually just capped her time with us, uh, and by doing a fantastic time with our Winter Guard, our Winter Guard had an incredible season, and uh, we wanted to give some of the awards for some of our Winter Guard students, and I know not everybody's going to be here, but I wanted to make sure that they get a little spotlight, so let's give it up for Miss Jenny. Um, I will not be returning to Marietta for the fall, as I'm sure most, if not all of you know. Um, it was a very hard decision for me to make. It was not one that I made lightly, but just to some personal life changes. It's the best for me, and everyone should always do what's best for them. Um, so the Winter Guard was very, very successful um, this past season. We were second place in our round at SAFA Championships. We got a 86-something, 85, 86, 7, something like that. Um, so very, very proud of all the students involved. Um, it honestly was one of my favorite productions and shows that I've ever put together in my past 10 plus years of teaching. Um, so very special, very great. I'm very proud of everyone that was involved. Um, so the staff, um, myself, Jalen, if you're down there and you want to come up, um, feel free. Uh, Layla and Michelle deliberated very hard on who these awards should go to. Um, let me make sure I have them in order. Um, so I'm going to start with our most outstanding performer. Um, so this award is presented to the 2023 Winter Guard member who displayed the most outstanding performances both on and off the floor. Um, and this award is going to go to Miss Tara. <laughs> Um, the next award that we have is the Most Improved Award, um, and this is presented to the Winter Guard member who displayed the greatest amount of growth, um, and this is to one of our rookies, um, Miss Gianna, because from coming in having never done Winter Guard, Color Guard before, to being able to throw some of a very skilled technical toss is just absolutely fantastic. Um, our next certificate is presented to the Winter Guard member who just displayed, uh, oh, this is the Most Outstanding Rookie Award. Um, so it's the most outstanding of just any of the rookies that came in. Um, and this is going to be presented actually to a uh, band member, member who decided to join us, and that's gonna go to Abel. Um, 
Um, these next three awards um, are going to go to our three equipment disciplines, flag, um, saber, and rifle. So our most outstanding flag award um, is presented to Rebecca. Thank you, Sarah. Um, this award is going to one of our soloists who just absolutely nailed her solo nine out of ten times. And the, the one time that she did it was always in rehearsal. Like, fantastic, great under pressure. Um, the most outstanding rightful award um, is going to go to Maddie. <laughs> And then finally, um, our most outstanding saver is going to one of our graduating seniors. Um, we are going to miss her very, very much, um, and that is awarded to Hawanatu. Um, so although we're recognizing um, specifically these six members, um, I really think we need to give it up for the rest of our wonderful Winter Guard members, many of whom are currently sitting somewhere in a uniform holding an instrument, which is just fantastic and a testament to how hard all of these students work. Again, very, very proud of them, and I wish everyone, um, either my graduating seniors in your next endeavors or, you know, my ninth through 11th graders um, with school next year. So uh, thank you all very much. One more big round of applause. On stage now is the Marietta High School Symphonic Band. Their first solo selection tonight is Amparito Roca, as arranged by Gary Fagan. Please welcome back to the stage Ms. Kaylin Putnam and the Marietta Symphonic Band.
That has been a really fun one to work on, and even more fun to perform. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Up next, the symphonic band will play the piece Adrenaline Engines by Randall D. Standridge. Please welcome back to the stage, Mr. Paul Merriman.
Thank you guys so much. We're going to uh, welcome back our wind ensemble. And as our wind ensemble starts getting on stage and we um, uh, have a little bit of a setup change, uh, again, I am thankful for you guys being patient with us. I know it's a little bit longer than a regular concert. This next part is super important. Uh, we're actually going to be recognizing um, our sponsors and then also recognizing individual students uh, for lettering and uh, band and marching band and also uh, for uh, all the accomplishments they have uh, had done this year. So uh, give us a couple seconds to kind of get the situation get in here and then we're going to do some awards. Thank you guys. About two minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about our sponsors. Uh, this year's sponsors were uh, Zaxby's here in Marietta, Lolita's Parlor, the Veterinary Clinic, Pools Pharmacy, Carmichael's Funeral Home, Three Amigos, Summit Heating and Air, Snapbox Self Storage, and Hubbuckin Cafe, and Gen Moss Realty. Thank you so much for your support. Um, if you or somebody you know would be interested in being a 2023 2024 sponsor, or donor, please visit our website, MarietaBands.com, uh, to contribute and support our program, or talk to uh, one of our co-presidents, Bill Moss, who's over here in the middle. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, and, uh, uh, and myself, and then we can get you going the right direction. Uh, this does not get done without a lot of money, as you guys know. And we're grateful for Marietta City Schools to help contribute so much. Yet, uh, we still need to be able to fundraise and, and do a lot more. So, thank you for uh, consider considering being a sponsor for this upcoming year. We want to go ahead and take some, a little bit of time to recognize the growth of individual students that went above and beyond uh, throughout the year. We will also recognize students who have lettered. Uh, students, when your name is called, whether you're in concert band, symphonic band, or in wind ensemble, uh, please come to the front of the stage and receive your certificate or your letter. Letters, uh, these students have applied for a letter to recognize their participation in the band program. The requirements to get a letter are participate in March Man uh, and have less than two unexcused absences, be in good financial standing with the Marietta Band Association, march in two parades, which is very easy because we march in a lot, uh, participate in one fundraiser this year, no discipline uh, actions by the program or the school, uh, and attend band camp with no absences. And uh, earn a, a or B in our band classes, uh, unless you're in guard, which they're not in our band class. So our uh, first year letterers actually get an M. Uh, they get the letter itself. Uh, and they have um, their name and, or the, the, it says band and what instrument they play um, or guard. And then uh, second through the fifth years get a Chevron, or a star for being section leaders. Uh, we are still back ordered on those, but um, as you hear your name, please come up. You'll get your envelope with all those things. Thank you. Demaris. Timmy. Alethea. Irving Quillar, Peter Brown, Tommy, Ewing, <coughs> Hadley, Zach Willis, Daniel Vasquez, Wesley, M, Ben, I'll sit down for a second. Caleb. 
Eldon, JT, Jason Johnson, Kyla, Olivia, Ash, Anderson, seniors. Uh, the following three are seniors that also earned the Fine Arts Diploma Seal and they get a cord. So, Anderson, explain. Brianna Polo Lopez. Brian Castellanos. Those were our three. And other seniors are Emily Saavedra and Abel. Down, make sure you guys look in these space. Give it one more time for everyone who has lettered. All right, thank you guys. Okay, um, the next part is uh, actually some other awards that we have. Um, and Ms. Putnam will come up here and announce those. Thank you guys again. Uh, let's, whenever the students all come up, let's give them a really big shout, okay? The marching band award goes to Brianna Polo Lopez. The color guard award goes to Hawit Natu Rufi. students attended Jam Fest. Simone Williams, Hadley Pasim, Ian Burns, Nick Carson, Ben Gatenga, Eden Toler, and Caleb Whitlow. students attended honor band. Take a picture of them, please. We're in a <laughs> Again, all of the following students attended honor band. Peter Brown. Hadley Pasin. Ben Gathenga. Eldon Toler. Caleb Whitlow, and Daniel Torres. The following, yes. So this next award is very prestigious because it means that this student was one of the best in our state. didn't hear that was Ben Gathenga. <laughs> the sight reading award goes to Eldon Toler. <laughs> the 
Now, band is not always the easiest thing. We have to think about so many different things at the same time, especially marching band, because you have to think about where to move to, what to play, who you're around, not hitting someone. The list is on and on and on for all of the difficulties in band. These students showed an incredible amount of improvement over this year, and we saw it fit to recognize that. So this is the Most Improved Freshman Award, Asani Simon. Urban Quaylar. Urban Quaylar. And, certainly last but not least, Urban Lopez. The Most Improved Sophomore Award, Kay McCarter, <laughs> Lenny Ramirez, <laughs> and Antonio Vasquez. Most Improved Junior Award <coughs> goes to Damaris Derezena. <laughs> and Jared Vasquez. And now for the Most Improved Senior Award, we have Abel Valdez. And Brian Castellanos. an award that is actually going to a section, in fact, multiple sections, most improved brass goes to all trombones. Improved Woodwinds Award goes to the Wind Ensemble Saxophones.
whether in the classroom or on the marching field, band takes a lot of practice. So it is very important to have those student leaders who embody the spirit of marching band and keep the mood light, and concert band, of course, but keep the mood light. So next up, we have the Band Spirit Award. The first recipient tonight is Mariama Inji, or Injai, I apologize. <laughs> Next, we have Jason Johnson. And last but certainly not least, Peter Brown. Outstanding freshman musician. <coughs> that goes to Kathleen Spignol. <laughs> it also goes to Lucas Price. musician. We have two recipients for this as well. Daniel Torres and Ben Ifenga. has two recipients as well. Simone Williams and Nick Corson. to Brianna Polilokas. Before we get to the plaque awards, this last award is also very important. Many of what we do in band would not be possible without those students who come early and stay late. So this award was made to celebrate that person. The person who is winning the Servant Leader Award is Caleb Whitlow. talk a little bit about these next um, three awards. The director award is essentially somebody that um, I chose as somebody who is married a band. Um, this person has worked really hard um, and achieved something this year that uh, they've been working on for a very long time and um, I thought it was very important that their name goes up on a wall and they get a little plaque. Um, and that is Hadley Basin.
uh, Willie Armstrong Jazz Award uh, was introduced in 1974 to honor outstanding jazz musicians at each high school in the United States of America. Um, they exhibit super superior dedication, musicianship, and creativity. Louis Armstrong was an epitome of jazz as a trumpeter, singer, and improviser. His imagination and phenomenal skill dazzled audiences worldwide and revolutionized jazz. The Jazz Award goes to our very own Lucas Price. <laughs> He joins other names like Stan, who you saw earlier, and uh, Gabrielle Fletcher as well. So uh, his name is up up here, and it's going to be in the band room for a very long, long time. Um, the next award, yeah, get up for Lucas. <laughs> next award is actually the, probably the more pre more prestigious award out of all the awards, um, and uh, it was pretty difficult to determine this, but. The John Philip Sousa Award is a gold standard for high school band students and recognized superior musicianship and dedication. It was introduced in 1955 with the approval of Sousa's daughters. And uh, John Philip Sousa wrote a lot of marches that you would know. Um, the award should be presented to the top student in the band program for outstanding achievement and interest in instrumental music for singular merit and loyalty and, corp and cooperation and for displaying those high qualities of co conduct that school instrumental music requires. This <coughs> award goes to Benga Tenga. <laughs> going to go ahead and start now playing again. Uh, this is a band concert after all. Um, so we're going to let our students play for a couple minutes. We're going to warm up again and then finish our concert. Thank you guys so much for being patient.
that's actually our warm-up. Thank you guys so much. Um, <laughs> their first piece of the Win Ensembles set has been a lot of fun to put together, both for us as teachers and for the students. You might recognize some of the tunes from the movies of yesteryears, or if you're a fan of Disney. Uh, there are sort of the songs that bring back good memories. Please welcome back uh, to the stage, Miss Kaylin Putnam, for the final time tonight, as she and the Marietta Win Ensemble kick off by playing Pixar Movie Magic.
I just want to take this opportunity to thank everyone here for being so welcoming to me during my time here. More specifically though, thank you to all of the wonderful students in the band program at Marietta High School. I'll give you a round of applause. Without exaggeration, you all are the kindest, most motivated students that I've ever worked with. You've impressed me every day with your improvement and dedication to your craft. Thank you again, and I can't wait to see what you all continue to achieve, both in band and outside of band. Thank you again.
We're doing one final change and we're almost done. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Give it up, uh, give it up one more time for our win ensemble. We are adding back. Uh, we're doing one more uh, combined band, symphonic band and uh, win ensemble this time. Uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy this piece, especially towards the end. I hope you guys enjoy this, uh, this party that we're about to have. We're going to recognize the seniors in just a second.
All right, uh, seniors, it's been a wild ride. You are the class, you are the class that love this program so much as baby sixth graders that they actually donated their own money, and Ms. Anderson can tell you the full story. When they were in sixth grade, and I'm sure it was their parents' money, or maybe their own. You see this podium that we've been sitting on or standing on this, this whole afternoon, they donated that out of their own money because they believe so much in our band. Um, it's really, truly an honor to teach these kids. Uh, if you're a senior, um, we're going to call your name. Uh, we'd love for you, for us to line up. And uh, if you notice, they look a little different than everybody else. I think this is a cool tradition that we're going to begin that uh, everyone wears all black, which is concert black, and then our seniors get to wear something nice. Um, so, seniors, here we go. Abel, Arias is all this. Gabriel Bell, <laughs> Leah Bird, Brian Castellanos Vasquez, Morgan Fair, Morgan Fair is right here. Sorry, Morgan. Morgan Fair. Woo! James Fowler. Ingrid Huerta Ponce. Brian Hunter. Anderson Ixme. Brianna Polo Lopez. <laughs> Mariama and John. Maria Pedraza. <laughs> How we're not to refine. <laughs> Emily Saavedra. <laughs> and Tara Suero. Can we give it up for our seniors? <laughs> this, this might be the last time they perform uh, on stage with us, so uh, let's, let's actually make it a little louder for them, please. Seniors.
Before we conclude, a special thank you to the MHS faculty and staff for our continued, uh, their continued support in developing a culture of excellence here at Marietta. Special thanks for special people here, um, Ms. Carolyn Landro, um, our Fine Arts Coordinator, our Principal, Dr. Marco Holland, Fine Arts Assistant Principal, Tamiko Godwin, our Superintendent, Dr. Grant Rivera, and our uh, Impact Director, Dan Frisbee, and our Impact Assistant Director, Emma Wigginton, our Sixth Grade Band Director, Ms. Anderson, and our Middle School Directors, Ashley Matthijs and Michael Reed, and also, a uh, further thank you to our fine arts teachers who uh, I have the privilege of working with every single day. I, uh, I'm grateful to be a part of the best team here at Marietta. Uh, and uh, a thank you to you, the parents, for allowing us to have your children uh, and teach them music. Like I said, it's not something that everybody in the world can do. And uh, it's a privilege to do it with them every day. Uh, and a big thank you to our students. Can we thank our students, please? Please enjoy the piece, Queen of Soul, as arranged by Paul Martha. You'll recognize who the piece is.
I do apologize that it's so late. But that was fun, wasn't it? I had a ton of fun. Guys, thank you guys so much for coming to our concert. Uh, before I get too emotional, uh, let's thank our seniors one last time. Woo! We do, we do tend to do one thing in around the band, and that's saying happy birthday. We have uh, twins in the house that their birthdays are today, Hannah and Ashley Rodriguez. Let's do a little happy birthday, let them come out up here for a second, and we'll end the night. Here we go, Ashley and Hannah, come up. And one, two, three. Thank you guys one last time for coming out tonight. Please help us get our chairs and stands back together. Our percussionists did not have to move because we have chills and thrills as we can send up. Thank you. I love you guys. Appreciate it. Have a great time home.